Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Angmar campaign. This is the 11th episode and we are currently besieging Borsakol. Or rather assaulting it is probably the correct word. They have foolishly just left a catapult right outside here. So we're going to be able to get a nice charge in with these Mount Graham units. And we're going to start marching in the legions. Now let's see what this catapult can do. Not much by the looks of it. So I did decide to backstab Angmar, uh, Gundavad I mean, and we are going to completely crush them. That is the plan. I just want to take all the settlements. Uh, Sauron wants the newly established Kingdom of Angmar to be the only Orcus settlement in the north and he wants a proper leader and he can't risk um, bad leadership among clans of orcs from Gundabad so he decided he just wanted the orcs and men from Angmar now we're not really getting a charge here are we? that's very weird let's try to actually get a proper charge right here and I'm going to rush in the cab, I'm, I'm just going to start harassing these units. These guys are supposed to be quite efficient in melee. I mean, uh, the charges should be a little bit better than they currently are. There we go, that's the kind of charge we want. Nice. Alright, let's just uh, backstab them with these guys. And all of these guys are just going to stand like right here for now and we're going to start backstabbing them now with um, with the Mount Graham Marauders we did take a look at these units the last episode so don't need to repeat that let's bring these guys a little bit out and these guys should now start going inside the settlement let's see if we can get a proper charge I really want to see a proper charge these guys can definitely get it. Alright, let's try them from this side instead. We can try to send these guys into melee as well. And our faction leader could actually, not our faction leader, but our general could probably just go right in. These guys are playing very poorly at the moment. It's probably because it's uh, this is counted as inside a settlement. Yeah, they just don't get the charge we want them to get. Let's give them some charges in the back. And these guys are going to need to go over here. Now we're going to send in our general. But where is he? Now today I want you to vote if I am going to end the Isengard episode after I have taken Mistran. Because that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go straight for Mistran. And I'm not going to care so much about the other settlement that Rune has to offer. I'm just going to sh show an end to the reign of the dragon cult. And that's basically what I'm going to do. Because at this point, Isengard campaign isn't that exciting anymore, I think. Ah, uh, there we get the charge we really want. When you see they use their animation, then it works out. Now this settlement is pretty cool even though it's not realistic and it's not in the lore of Middle Earth of course. But it's still pretty it's still pretty cool to be honest. And I'm glad they just sent their missiles first so we can just get rid of them. Now now we got a proper charge from both sides. That's going to cause some devastation to these units. And Harald has joined in. Get another charge. Might be too soon. Oh, these guys are actually getting the perfect charge. Let's see if these guys do as well. Yeah. It's just insane, these works. But to be honest, these works as well, they just hold a very, very strong level considering what time we get them in. Like at the start of the campaign, you can use them so efficiently like we have. They've just been monsters for us. That was not a nice charge. I should speed this up a little bit. There we 
there we go. Alright, we're now going to start moving these troops all the way up here because this settlement is divided into two halves. I'm going to show you how or show you what it looks like in a minute. So it's like you can go up two different paths and this is the town square. So it's quite easy to defend. You can actually man these walls. It, not that it's really efficient, but it's still pretty cool. Now, there we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start sending in units from both sides. And I'm going to try to surround these guys. And just make them clump up over here. And then I'm going to send in all the works and just use our all of our skirmishing potential. Now some pikes and some halberds to both sides is probably a nice idea. We're going to set some Foscals over here as well. Because I believe they have some mountain guard. Yeah. And they have a lot of armor. So the Foscals is going to be very efficient. These guys can go over on this side instead. I guess Harald can go over here as well. And these guys will also go here. They're actually insanely powerful. Their missile attack is so high. Right, let's just speed it up a little bit. This map is really cool though, and it's quite easy to defend over here as well. Uh, there's a lot of points where you can easily defend. But, and you can even haul like right here. But then you're quite susceptible to arrows. But if the enemy decides to start uh, defending here, you can just use your archers. Iron Crown, Halberts, let's just get them in. They're also efficient against armor, so they're going to do a nice job. Uh, but are these guys... No, they're not effective against them. We're going to use the halberds and the Ruskals against them. And all of these guys are properly lined up. I don't think we'll have much use for the Ballista, to be completely honest with you. The Arches, we should also get in. They're just standing here idle, which is the problem with the AI. It, it just doesn't make for any fun when it's like this. I'm going to use uh, let these guys spend all their axes on these guys before I send them in. And in the meantime, we can send in these guys as well. Alright. Harald and you guys also go inside. And let's just go a little bit closer. They're still just standing completely still. And we are now going to start sending wargs up here. And then we are going to start these guys. Let's see what the, how they do against the mountain guard. They should actually shred them. To be completely honest with you. 76 to... Oh wow, that was actually a complete slaughter. 10 mountain guard in one, in one hit, that's insane. These guys are just so powerful. Just look at them go. They're dropping like flies. Alright, now it's the time to start pushing over here. Iron Crown Warriors is going to hit these guys. You are going there. And you can just stand and shoot. And how's things going over here? The Mountain Guard were completely slaughtered. Now we're going to start running these guys around. And we're just going to surround them. So let's get these guys inside. These guys are out of ammo already. Excellent. And now you, the witch knights, could just occupy these guys. And you can hit the mountain guard in the back. And you as well, just hit the mountain guard. Iron Crown Warriors should line up properly though. Alright, let's send them in. Right, yeah, it looks like it's a li little bit bugged over here. We'll see what we can do. Let's get in these guys as well. And we could just stack up a lot of cavalry here and just use our Javis. 
Like, why not? Okay, let's send them over here. Let's see if this works out. We can start shooting these guys over here in the back. Which is going to be very useful. Hideout can probably hold up on its own. So that's no issue. Let's send them here. Yeah, we're sending in these guys now. Excellent. Alright, come up here. All of you. Let's see what missile attack does these guys have. Yeah, six. That's so strong. Alright, let's hit the snow arc spears in the back. Let's see how that will work out. They have... They don't have a lot of armor or shield. They actually have most from their defense values. So they're going to be hit very hard. That's what we want to see. Beautiful. We could even capture the town center, but... I'm just going to... Yeah, I could let one unit go in the town center, I suppose. Rudar Warriors could go up there. Now let's get these guys up here, and these guys up here. These guys up here, and these guys. Let them come in as well. Alright, these Javis are going to be deadly effective over here. And in the meantime, these guys can start doing some charges at these guys. That's going to be beautiful. And you're going to go for the town center. Oh, that was not a nice charge. But the enemy is, of course, occupied, so it doesn't really matter. Come on. Hurry up. Our men have taken control of the castle. I think they're occupied with all their units. So we could probably just... Yeah, they can't really do anything about this. Now let's start hitting these guys in the back. Yeah, they are losing heavily already, to be honest. That was a nice charge. Alright, these guys can actually just charge these Orc Defenders. You guys just stay here. They are just incredibly OP, these Javelin Wargs. And then the general goes. Beautiful. Now our next target after this one, after Barsacle, is uh, going to be Dane's Halls. It's a very wealthy province. Actually, you just stay here. Take out the Mountain Guard. Let's see if we can get a proper charge. These guys are actually efficient against the cavalry, so we're going to get them out of there very quickly. But at, yeah, you see, at, when they're engaged, they're just going to slaughter us. So I suppose why not give these guys some javis? There we go. We're going to get completely slaughtered. A nice charge once again. How is Harald doing? Yeah, he's doing fine. We have lost a lot of percent though. These units aren't they like they don't have a lot of defense. Of the but they will perform very well, nonetheless. But they're not very long lasting units after what I've seen so far. Alright, you are going to Yeah, now it's just over. We've lost control of the castle! Alright, all cavalry just charge the mountain guard. Our men are in command of the castle. So today I hope to almost be able to finish off Lindon. I doubt we will because they have just gained a new stack. Alright, 256. That's great. Now it says Harald Plunder of Erebor. We haven't been to Erebor, but it is indeed a bug because I installed a hotfix because I needed to show you how the Northern Dune Dying army could be reduced and that has um, made a lot of ancillaries pretty weird so just ignore that but some names are going to be weird from now on and that's just how it is I can't really do much about it but uh, it will be no problem once I start new campaigns alright so there's first call now let's sack this place. My lord, our courage and honor have conquered. 
Oh, we can even recruit the North God out of here. That's wonderful. We don't really need this, to be honest. Nah, I'm I'm tempted to just keep going, to be honest. Like, why not? They actually have this army, though, which could cause some problems. But they only have a couple of units. If we actually just bring some cavalry at them, we should be able to pull them out. But we can't really move that far anyways. So I'm just going to take these guys out with a couple of war units. I think these two units would probably be more than sufficient enough. So let's do that. Yeah, and we're probably going to get a general here. So th that can stay in Mount Gundabad. Alright, I will see you right after the battle. There they go. It was an absolute slaughter. These guys are just so incredible. It's not even funny. These guys on the field have just proved to be utterly dangerous. Now this is the last king of Gondor before Aragorn comes. This is how Gondor got the suits. This king decided he wanted to duel the witch king, so he went to Minas Morgul. There he was captured and tortured. And that's how the line ended. And then Aragorn came back. A lot of hundreds of years, many hundreds of years later. Yeah, we're going to adopt Captain Futad. He just looks, he's completely got the same picture. Wow. So typical. But yeah, let's let's just get some communal farming here. Because why not? Actually, we want to get the war camp. But I'm really looking forward to seeing some snow trolls and north guard today. Wow, that's going to be nice. That's a bit hard to... Let's... Yeah, these guys are actually much. I think we have... I think I did everything I need to do before this turn, so we can... I'm just going to siege out Kelloniak. There's no reason to attack this. We're just going to lose a lot of units. And I want to just keep up the flow uh, at attacking Dunland. I can greet you, but not serve you. Yeah, not long until we can start recruiting elites from Bree as well. And these guys is needed over here. Who no need more to actually attack these guys. They're no mere scum. Captain is on. And we're taking out Ed Lewin's last settlement as well. Uh, they actually have this one as well, but. We're going to be able to attack them from two sides, so it will be fine. Was that your best shot? And this army we have to deal with. I hope they just siege out Mithlon. That's our best hope. Because I don't think we can beat them in the field. And even inside Mithlon, that's going to be a very difficult battle. But we're going to end the turn there and see what will happen. Now this campaign has been very clean. We have done like... We have just rushed over every enemy. Oh yeah, they're attacking Mithlon. That's excellent. That's going to be one hell of a battle. And after that, Lindon will be done for. Oh, they actually didn't attack Drango. That's very, very well. Now, so I think they hold like two, perhaps three settlements. Because they have Buster Doom as well, the rebel settlement. And they hold Forland. I believe it to Karlund. I don't remember. These guys still don't attack us, which is great. But uh, we could probably attack them sooner or later. We'll have to see about it. Now let's see how much money we're making now. We should make a decent amount. Yeah, we're actually build pre-building a lot though. Alright, we got the mines in Barquetta, nice. Poor and poor. Litash, we got more of these monsters. Let's just send them straight forward. Yeah, let's just merge these two. And we're going to send them straight for Gun Dane's Halls. Ketan Shnagog. That's quite a name, to be honest. Alright, we should probably... Yeah, we'll have enough for one army, I think. Futad. Let's see. Yes, my lord. Can get these guys as garrison. 
and full tad could probably just head towards Mount Gundaba to be honest. Now it's uh, quite a while until we can get snow trolls, but remember last time we actually obtained some snow trolls from a mission. Do we have any other missions to be honest? Let's just see. We're not far from our victory condition at this point. We just need to actually we just need to hold forty regions and we have won it. Wow. We're almost there in the Isengard campaign as well. Now this guy just still is just going to stay there for the rest of the campaign. All right, these guys. Oh yeah, Dranga can actually deal with these guys. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Great. Now we wanted Dranga to lead this army instead. An order. It will be an honor defeating your will, my lord. Yes. We're just going to build a couple of towers here. And we're just going to wait for this army. We just need to wait for it. Mitchell Delving, we're building south. Cannot recruit here just yet. Let's Yeah, we're spending a lot of money. Command. Erecting a watchtower. To battle, my lord. Yes, your will, my lord. Alright, let's just bring down these segments once and for all. And the spy could probably go down here. Now, I just hope they attack now, to be honest. It would be a nice battle. Now, we do have the Witch King. We do have two Barrow White units. We do have two units of Cell Swords. We have some Sorg Spears, we have a lot of Pikemen, we do have the units, but these guys are incredibly strong on the other hand. So it's going to be very exciting. Yeah, we hold Forlon and we are going to take out Harmon. That's how it is. Alright, I think we can just end another turn to be honest. Uh, if we don't want to take out this unit. No, it's probably not that important. Let's see what Gundabad does now. Are they coming back for their beloved home? Or are they just happy with staying alive for now? We'll see. But we need to go for Dane Souls, nonetheless. Very wealthy region with uh, some decent mines, definitely. Oh, they are actually going to sally out. Exciting. Alright, we'll, we're going to see some Dunlending blood then. I'll see you on the battle map. Alright, we're here. Our army consists of mostly trash. We do have some wargs. We do have the Rudar warriors. We have some Rudar savages and some pikemen. But mostly it's made out of hillmen and conscripts. And it, this is interesting. We're going to see a lot of Dunlending units. Now, they do have their arrow towers on their side, so we are going to be a little bit cautious. I'm going to send in these Javis, just let them get some hits. We should definitely get a lot of hits with these guys now. Just look at this lovely blob. Just imagine if we had a catapult. There we go. And we're just going to surround them completely. That's the plan. Right, let's try to just we're just going to pause it a little bit and we're going to go much closer we'll have to run them all eventually other oh, cavalry seems to be going around as well all right and then just run everyone these two also need to go forth You will also follow after. You as well come a little bit closer. Now this is wonderful. They're just letting us use all of our Javis. Now let's get these guys a little bit out of it. Just charge them in. Just going to try to surround them at this point here. They have just completely surrounded themselves with the farms. Which isn't too bad to be honest. Now, I heard the sound of some cavalry. Oh yeah, they're probably coming uh, over here. Just look at this mess though. 
This is really weird. Alright, let's get them over here. You guys are going to go into these guys. You will go here. Eigendauer, we need you closer. And Pikeman, probably useful over here as well. And these guys are alright, just set them there. And you can hit someone here. And uh, let's send in these guys that will be super efficient over here with their super javis. Send them in. There's like 5,000 on. like 6,000 men on the map right now. That doesn't happen a lot. It actually happened in the last Isengard episode where we took on 6,500 orcs. That was really cool. I never think I've played such a large battle, at least not on camera. So that was wonderful, to be honest. Now these guys probably need over here. It's a bit of a chaos, to be honest. Now let's see how these guys are going to rack up kills. These guys would definitely get a lot of kills from this. Because none of these guys have enough armor to really stand up against these, uh, these Javis. There we go, and start hitting some of these guys as well. There we go, these axes are so overpowered. This is definitely my favorite, uh, probably my favorite unit so far, if I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, it's nice that these guys are actually coming in now, coming in at the perfect time. I would, would never have been able to siege these guys out, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because this army I mean, consists only of trash. There we go. Yeah, they get slaughtered. Now you guys could probably do some charges into their general. That would be quite useful, and he stands right here as well. That's like the perfect target. And these guys are also out of their... Missiles and it's the javelin mark, so they will get a nice hit there. All right, just do one more hit, and there one of the generals goes, and the other one will go in right now. So these guys could probably just be sent into melee. They should do pretty fine, considering how shitty these units are. Oh, we're going to capture these guys definitely. Now these guys, we're definitely going to just capture, we're going to get so much experience on these guys if we are lucky now. Just capture them please. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, they're not really following after properly. This could have been much better. And now the Warx is going to get trapped by these pikes which might throughout so it's probably worth it now let's get another charge and just get the last bodyguard here see if we get the proper charge just look at this charge momentum it's so beautiful building captured yeah the works are definitely getting some kills now beautiful they can't really do much at this point and there the other general goes as well. Now they're going to come back, so it's just to back out to be honest. Just back out. Just take on these guys. That's what happens with the town center. Now over here we're also successful, we have lost like 34%, that's not too bad. We had no archers in this army either. The walls are no longer ours, the enemy have taken them. Actually if they get the arrow towers that's going to be quite devastating for us. Now I'm tempted to just send these guys all the way out again, just let them regroup and let them hit us again because inside here we're going to not be as successful as we definitely could now the war chanters is only one only unit left 
I actually forgot to take a look at most of these units, but we're definitely going to see more to, more done landings, so that's okay. Let's just get them all out, let them pursue us. These pikes though, could definitely take on the horseman. That's like a nice deal anyways. Alright, let's see if we can actually route them right here. Yeah, we're actually going to route them. And there we just go. Alright, we lost 1000. War graders, no surprise there. And Master Freka is done for. And I think he is the faction heir. So we have we have shown the done landings what we stand for at this point. Now this looks like Harad. On the other hand, it could very much be Umbar. It looks very much like Umbar. But that's only the imagination. You just let it be what it be you must. Alright, Keloniak. I'm going to exterminate just because I want to leave Hillman and such there. And then we just need some... Yeah, I don't want culture problems over there. Now I can't wait to see... I just can't wait to see the snow trolls. The trolls. Wow. Trolls. Let's go. Uh, over here. Let's get Dark Pit. My Aloyos. They did not attack. And that's that's really bad because we're going to lose units every turn. They don't attack. So let's hope they actually attack this turn. It will be an honor defeating you. Oh, they're probably going to take this back. Well, if we actually... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're actually going to get a full stack. Yeah, if we take out these guys... No, now we'll see what this guy will do. He'll probably take it, but that doesn't really matter. Now let's get this up and going. We're making a lot of money now. Oh, the Guardians of Khandoom, finally. I was really waiting for these guys. Now let's get more of those. That's the same uh, unit as we have on uh, the Witch King. Resistance is futile. Alright, I'm going to go over most buildings first. Captain Knut. You're going to join up with this beast stack right here. Are you kidding me? That's just... Yeah, at least they went over here. But that's just... Pure stupidity. Yes, my lord. Alright, we're actually going to get a full stack right here. We need to leave a couple of units. Suppose some pikes could go here. Yes, my lord. And still another unit, I believe. Yeah. Let's get... I suppose these guys are a bit battered. As you wish. Yes, my lord. And there we go. That's a deadly, deadly army. Let's bring down Dane Souls. That's my prize. We can even recruit units right away. Let's get the war. Actually, Hillman Barracks. I want more of those Rudar Warriors. Let's just get these guys and we can start going for these settlements as well. And we can just fill up the force in general. We can get these guys here now as well. Morathar's still away, still a while until we can upgrade it. Now these guys are definitely do want to get in this fort. Now this large garrison is needed in case these guys decide to backstab us. So that's fine for now. We're actually not making any money here at all. Such a stupid settlement. We're actually losing money. 
Let's just merge and we need to leave behind these hillmen and these guys as boss. An order. As you command. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. I will only Ah, they already got a large army uh, which are headed uh, against us. Alright, we'll have to send some more reinforcements. Let's get the works. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. Let's get the bags here as well. My lord. Now, finally, yes. Oskelon is going to get to glory and attacked. A oh, and it's actually just a village. Walls. I'm going to fight this battle off camera. We're barely going to win this. Alright, I will see you right after the battle. There they go. We lost 47%. Wasn't too bad. And now they only have the settlement in the north left and then the Erdluin is gone, finally. Now I was really hoping that we could see the battle for Mithlon. It's either going to be the battle for Mithlon or the battle for Dane's Hall, so... It's going to be an exciting episode nonetheless. Oskelon goes down. Let's just exterminate this place. These lands are now yours. And let's get this up. Resistance is futile. And that is great. Now we can just merge these units. Get rid of some of these. And Eonan can actually just take this for his own. He got a new home now. Congratulations. Ah, we can finally start uh, recruiting these units from Anuminas. That's going to be very useful. Now, is there anything left to do this turn? Let's just check that out very quickly. Your orders, my lord. All of these forts are occupied. Is that what you want? Is yeah, these guys are just want? neutral now. Alright, uh, let's see. I think we can just send another turn. Let's hope they attack us at Mithron. That would be such a nice battle. And I'm not even sure we're going to win this. And we could very much lose the Witch King. Like, it, it could happen. It's a little, little bit hard to predict when you haven't used this army against such a force before. Yeah, he's going to attack. We do barely outnumber him, and we barely have any archers, but this is going to be a nice battle. Sindar Spearmen, Sindar Axemen, Sindar Cavalry, Tellery Bowmen, and of course the Faras Lords. All right, I'll see you in the battlefield. All right, we are here. Now the plan is not to hold over here. I'm just having these guys over here just to activate the towers for the time being. But eventually, we're just going to hold this choke point. And we're going to be able to have our units here. And actually, if we are really smart, we could put our Javis up here. Yeah. That's actually a very nice position. I think these guys will have a little bit better view. Let's see if we can put these guys on the hill right here. And I am actually sending the Witch King all the way around. We are going to send him... Let's see... They might have sent their own cavalry. Oh, they have sent Sindar Axemen this way. That's not going to favor them very well. Well, I suppose we could just go around them. But we're just going to let them come in here. And these police towers are working very well, it looks like. Now, we might want to run these guys out. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it in time. These guys are here are just here to kind of slow them down, but it's much better to just hold Curses. over here. The enemy are battering down our gates. And we have our first layer here, and we have a second layer, and I'm going to set them up more properly. The siege tower has reached our walls. And the, the reason I'm not sending in all the units at once is just to make them become tired and such. That works out very well usually. 
Well, we are blowing up our troops, so we do want to be careful about getting targeted as they are here. So these guys should probably be sent a little bit further back. The Barrowites are just standing here. And these guys are here, actually. They're Oh, they're actually going to attack us from this side. But we, we do have our troops quite close. So I don't think we need to worry. I'm just going to have the Witch King over here. And he's just going to charge them when they start setting up properly. They are starting to send in some arrows. And that's, we just have to accept that. I'm going to start using our arrows when these guys send in more of their units here. Then we definitely want to use our wards here. Where's these guys? Oh. Let's get these guys here as well. Sadly we can't use the terrain which is a bit sad. Like, that's a bummer. The enemy are battering down the gates. Yeah, we just want to make sure the Witch King is alright. We could potentially shoot them here, but I think we're going to get more work when they all just rush in. We might want to need to actually the back up these the units with a little bit more units. I, these guys, yeah, they're at the front as well. The there are a lot of, the of units, but there are elves, and if they start clumping up units, it could be a disaster. So let's just send in another unit of these spikes. And now we have multiple layers. So even these Sindar Spearmen we should be able to fend off. Now here comes a Sindar Axemen. I definitely do want to get a charge on them. And we do have these guys which can just charge out the other way when we need it. And we have the Wargs which is very flexible. So we do have what we need. Now let's get them over here. Let's get a proper charge into them. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Now is probably a nice time to start shooting. And let's just see if this actually works out the way we want it to. Yeah, it actually does. That's awesome. Well, we're going to target. So, yeah, just shoot straight into this. Teleri guards. And it's now, it's now completely on. Alright, that's not going to be a nice charge. Let's just speed it up again. These guys are going to throw in Jarvis when it's needed. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Steel, we're going to give them. Definitely. There we go. That's an easy way to pick up some elves. Let's get another charge in. These guys are going to go up on the walls. We'll have these guys prepared. Or actually, the, the Barwite is the perfect unit to deal with these guys. The battle is very much in our favor. Right, let's, is that the Witch King himself? Yeah. Let's kind of... Alright, they're now in here. Some of their shots is just going down on the ground. It looks like they're just going to send in one unit at a time. Which isn't that bad idea. Not often will the AI act like that. Alright, 101. They are going to come down out of this place. So if we just completely, I believe at least. It's a bit hard to see, but we're going to place them there. And there we go. Another beautiful charge. Crushing this in our Axemen. Alright, let's uh, charge these guys in. And let's use these guys as a flank, because these guys rely very much on their armor. So it's going to be a nice matchup for these guys, definitely. And two units of Barrowites, that's definitely a nice challenge. Alright, let's charge them again. And then we can actually go in and start charging these guys in the back. That's not too bad. They still aren't just fighting one unit at a time. So we're getting some nice hits in over here. They're just blobbing up their troops big time. 
and we're, we're quite ahead of them. Now, let's not get him stuck, that could be disastrous. These guys are no bad units. But I'm glad they split their forces, that really worked against them. It wasn't really a bad idea, to be honest, but we had cavalry. And then, yeah, it isn't a bad idea, it isn't a good idea anymore. I'm going to wait a little bit with these guys, or I suppose some Javis into these guys isn't too bad. Let's see if uh, we get some proper hits. Yeah, that's actually very good. Right into their backs. And the Witch King did take care of this one unit. Now let's get them in here and we're going to charge from this point of view. This is the perfect target. This is wonderful. These guys have used up all their ammo now though. We could actually place some wargs up here but I think it's better to just use them from this angle. Alright, these guys are getting slaughtered, utterly slaughtered. Just look at this. There are only 37 left. And these guys have barely lost anyone. That just shows how powerful the Barawats can be when they're used against the proper unit. Now, these guys are also out of ammo. Just going to place these guys in the town center for the meantime. Or they could probably just stand right here. Yeah, these guys are just falling completely apart. This is a bit of a choke. Yeah, I was hoping they would send in more units. Let's get some new Javis over here. Seeing our cavalry, they look very beautiful. We just gotta wait a little bit now, it's going to be a choky battle. And just look at these guys, they're barely losing any men at all. We're not losing too many ourselves, but... Ah, oh, they're finally starting to commit right here. Now this is going to be a beautiful battle. I actually want to hit the Simba Spearman. Now this is the perfect target. Just a lot of units clumped up. And now the real fight starts, to be honest. Now these guys were victorious and so we can send them over here. We just have so many armor piercing units, we're just going to be able to hold up very well. See their axemen as well, beautiful target. But I guess just throwing straight into this blob at the moment is very useful. Yeah, I think we might, I'm just going to march these guys a little bit closer. And we're going to have these guys in reserve as well, in case they start trying to push straight through. And of course we have these guys from both their sides, we can bring these guys a little bit closer. Let's bring the Witch King up, let him have a sight. Yeah, all the guys are committed now. And you're going to see that we're going to be pushed back, this is powerful. They have started a real push now. These guys are already out of ammo. Now while they push, let this ability freeze their blood. And this inner cavalry is going to get wrecked by our, all our pikemen. But they probably have so much HP. Yeah, we're starting to lose a lot of men now. We gotta, we gotta commit more. It's just like in the battle in last episode where we faced 6,500 dogs. You just gotta commit more troops when they start trying to push straight through. Right, uh, we're going to let's place these guys here. 
these guys here and these guys right here. But our whites are just going to be in reserve for now. Which king will stand right here. But they're definitely pushing through right here. I think we should actually just try to hit them. And these guys should go up here as well. Just go and try to surround them. These guys got engaged. Let's try to put them right here and in guard mode. I think they're trying to run for the town center. That's not very unusual. Now these guys could probably be used over here instead. Just pick up all the units which goes through. And these guys have no use here. Let's send them over here as well. Our foe has taken control yeah, they're the trying city. to take the city. Our foe has lost control of the city. All right, these guys are just going to hit the Sidar Spearman, and they're going to do exactly the same like they did with the other unit of Sidar Spearman. Oh, these guys are. You never actually want to mark all the works at once and we don't want these guys to be in god mode either that didn't really work out but the bar whites are definitely charging in now all right you gotta charge in here yeah they're crushing us let's let the witch king do some work here we are in the heavy lead though but they're probably going to get more kills at this point So there you guys also have some men. armor, not as much as these guys though. They're just trying to run, let's just try to... The Fala slots are now here though, we're going to be able to take them out. Because they have fools who just left everything. Alright, the Witch King. There these guys are. The witches are going to get a lot of kills while these units just run straight through. Now this is not a really optimal target for these guys, but since they're just running, we should get a lot of kills. But they're now trying to charge us, it looks like. So there you guys, that's a perfect target for the witch king at this point. Alright, you guys hit these in our cavalry. Now you hit the Phallus Lords. Like the Phallus Lords are surrounded, that's very well. We're going to be able to route them. Just hit these guys for all it's worth. I don't know what these guys are trying to do. These guys can't really challenge the spearmen. We need some units over here. I think we need to send the Witch King. But trying to route these guys wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly. Yeah, we're going to yeah, we're going to route them. Beautiful. Alright, now you go for the Sindar Spearman. Our foe has taken control of the city. Right, if we use four war units, it should be okay. We need to run someone from over here and just let them come in our, on this our path. Has lost control of the city. The Phallus Lords are down here now for some weird reason. And the Witch King. Ah, he's stuck with Spearman. That's no good idea. Yeah. The Witches are stuck as well. Now let's reinforce them with this Rudar. This has just became a chaos now. That's a very weird charge, but it worked out very well, nonetheless. Let's charge the Sindar Axeman. Oh, these guys were just, were just ran them through. There you see what will happen to our troops if we ran straight through the elves. That's not the same. But we are winning the battle. They have 
only 10% left of their army at this point. Now these rogues are just good to try and go for these solary guards. That's probably much wiser than these guys. And you can hit these guys and you are going to flank. You just stand here completely idle. Which game? We have one bar white left in one of the units. Let's get them boys. Yeah. Our enemy has command of the city. All right, just bring them down, boys. Our foe has lost control of the city. But that was a successful defense. But it wasn't too exciting. I was hoping for a much more interesting battle, but it turned out all right. At least they started flanking and such, so that's that's kind of cool. Now nah, it's only the, the general left at this point. The Witch King himself is combating him. Where is this guy? What is happening? Alright, let's just speed this up. Yeah, it's somewhere over here, I think. We lost 50%, which means we'll have a large enough army to just keep pushing. And only way they could actually start start hitting us for real is if they start building ships and if they just start shipping out units. Alright, that's nice. Who got the most kills? The war graders, the bar whites did very well as well. It will be nice to finish off Lindon, and that's going to bring us much closer to achieving victory as well. So I think this uh, campaign is going to end once we hit uh, the victory conditions, because it's just been a very easy ride, and it wasn't a challenging campaign, but it was very fun nonetheless, and I love the units that Angmar has to offer, definitely. A lot of interesting units. I hope they only have two settlements left though. They could potentially have more. Oh, let's see what these guys are. Oh, a spy. They could very much attack us at any point. Now, Sarkala used to be able to be attacked from two sides, but from this is a point on, you can only attack it from one side, which is uh, interesting. Let's get the Orc Pit. Lorien under attack, Erdlin dwindles. No surprise right there. Yes, it will be an, an order, my lord. By your command. Yes. Moving to crush the enemy. Alright, we're going to bring down this army in a minute. King of Dale, Goblins of Moria, some more units recruited. We got the barracks in Thorn Souls now. Oh no, they just got a last stack army. Alright, our only hope now is to bring down this. Yeah, we should be able to bring it down this turn though. But it's just annoying to have these guys here. Just look at these guys as Saghals, Tom Protectors, and Longbeard Phalanx. Yeah, these guys would have crushed us. We don't have any units on this on this path right now. Yeah, you better head up here. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's merge these units. An order. Get ready for fighting. Your will, yes. Yes. Don't sleep in here. Let's leave some trash behind. Your will, my lord. Splitting the truth. All right, and let's just head out. I've tried whipping them with the let's check Buster Doom. Yeah, they don't really. Kiridan is here. They're unstoppable. Well, he doesn't look very unstoppable to me. Come and get me, you coward. Yes. Be 
Uh, we probably need to fight these guys off, but we... They have Dunlaning Raiders. Alright, no, they're not that powerful. I was just wondering. Alright, let's send these guys to Kilomnia. We need more reinforcements there. Yes, my lord. Adler, I won't care about you, but Dane Souls, you're falling the next turn. That's probably going to be one hell of a battle. They have Bog Soul. Wow. Your will, my lord. My lord. Your These two can just take this fort. The day is ours. We have conquered, my lord. And the catapult is on its way. Can recruit more interesting units here? Not at the moment. We can get these guys down. And we also got some new units here. Which we might want to... It was actually here. That we might want to place in the forts. And we're just going to abandon these guys. We get a new unit in one turn. Alright, so we'll have to push with against Laura Melion. Finish them. Now they don't have any properly interesting units, but they have a lot of archers, so we just gotta swarm them. But I will see you after this battle, I'm not going to show it. Alright, he was captured. Now it's just to take out the remainers. But they put up a brave defense, we lost like 30%, because this is essentially just trash. But yeah, it was a nice battle. And not much stands in the way of glory or Lindon at this point. Just look at this. Pure human. Like, if you are playing as Mordor, this works very well as well, just surrounding the enemy, enemy completely. And if you use the Nazgul abilities, you're going to just rout entire armies pretty easily, if you bring a large force with just Orc Mullers. And that's the reason why Mordor is such an easy faction. You could even just link up all the Nazgul generals in one army. And you will still be able to just pull off amazing victories. <laughs> but that's just for beginners, I would say. Victory! Alright, we're going to use Drango instead. Much more profitable. And let's send some more reinforcements. And then the Witch King will go this way. It will be nice. Let's get the army barracks here perhaps, or we could just recruit some of these guys. We don't really need uh, any more army barracks over on this side, because what enemy is there to face at this point? Now we gotta take out these guys so that this army cannot attack us. As Saghal's Tom Protectors, that's a nice unit. Alright, I'm going to fight this uh, off camera and I'll be right back. There, one of the generals goes, and it's only about a matter of time at this point. Completely swept over by Hillman noobs. Poor dwarves. Having all their fancy armor, but it doesn't matter because they're just completely surrounded by trash. How does, how does that feel? But now, at least that Doomsack army won't be able to do any damage to us, which is very important. <laughs> and it's only... And there, Erdluin is completely we gone. Victorious. Now that's a very good way to just get rid of Doomsacks. Just finishing off other settlements before it can spawn. Just like if you siege out multiple settlements at once, you might avoid doom sacks, but it var it's it varies from faction to faction. But I just realized uh, this episode have been very long now, so I, I need to shut it down at this point. 
but it has been an enjoyable episode and we finish off by completely oh shit they still hold another region which i'm not which i don't really know where it is like where can it be that's such a bummer well, we'll have to end the turn and we'll, I'm just going to see if they actually have anything left or if it's just how the game act. act. Alright, let's... Let's just get rid of this trash. And let's end the turn and let's see if they will vanish now if they start besieging us that's going to be a nightmare let's see they skipped their loon that's probably yeah they're probably dead then if not they would definitely have attacked us it's going to be exciting to see the battle for Dane's Hall's next episode. We're going to see the North Guard and the Snow Trolls in action. And at that point, I believe we have seen all the units that our faction has to offer. Which is very nice. Oh, we're actually faced on the battlefield. Well, then we'll have to end the episode here. And we're going to see if Erlin is actually crushed or not next episode. I don't see why this guy would attack us. That's such stupidity. Oh, they had the Orc Avengers. I really wanted to see them. That's awesome. They have two units. Wow. Alright. But that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see some nice action in the next episode. Until then, leave a like, subscribe. Support me via Patreon if you'd like. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.